So I can give you stories all day. I can break this stuff down. But what's important in understanding this dynamic is where is this really coming from? So notice in the story, and that's why I started off with it. What did I mention that led into this? She was with a man that she was really into. Whether it was real love or not, she viewed it as I gave myself to this man and I got burned. And then out of a mentality of protection, out of a mentality of fear, and also negativity poured into her because remember, it was the aunt who then advised her, choose a man who loves you more. So this advice, this, 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 this approach comes from a negative place. It is not coming from a healthy place of what is truly going to be successful and healthy, but simply what people, mainly women, you know, think will protect them from being hurt. And what I'm trying to lay out for you and show you is that this does not stop the hurt. If anything, you are guaranteed to be headed for more nonsense. It's coming. Better believe it. What you have to understand is hurt is inevitable. All right. I think as I don't know if there's a human being that has walked this earth that at some point in their life did not get hurt. This is how life is. The key is that we have to learn how to process it, handle it, heal from it, and not internalize it, hold on to it, and allow it to now project negativity and fear into our lives. Because if you are walking in fear and not faith, then trust and believe good is not going to come from that. Now, I know some of you might say, but it's too scary to put my heart out again for a man who maybe, you know, I love more. Now, first, let's address the whole you love him more. When women say to me they were dealing with a man they loved more, 99 times out of 100, if not 100 out of 100, what you're saying to me is you were dealing with a man who did not truly love you. Let me explain what I'm saying here. If this man was in love with you, and, and, and in fairness, let me, let me backtrack and say this, because I did say 99%, maybe it's not 99%. <laughs> and, and let me also mention, because sometimes there are situations where you are actually with a man that genuinely loves you, is in love with you, as, you know, it, and the whole thing about who loves who more, when two people are genuinely in love with each other, you cannot quantify who loves who more. And when there's actual real connection, you cannot quantify who loves who more. However, because you can only know for sure the love you feel, it will feel like you love them more at times. Because you, you, you have to decipher what's going on with them moment to moment. And if this moment they're not doing certain things, you might say, well, do they really love me like I love them? Because you can only know yourself. But when you can say, that, that they love you more than, as I said earlier, that automatically means, all right, you're just not into them like that. You're not in love with them. That's clear cut. But anyways, you may, you may at moments feel like you love them more, but ultimately there's no way to really quantify because both parties feel deeply into each other. And yes, in some of these scenarios, a man who loves you can still make mistakes. He may still do things that hurt you, not blatantly, but because we're human and we're, and we're going to have our... Moments where we fall short. And this is why one of the things we have to understand in relationships is giving grace and understanding the difference between the man who's not perfect and the man who's not worth it. All right. And when he is not perfect, he is a man who is constantly trying. He's willing to talk to you. He's, he's willing to make adjustments. He's trying to get on the same page as you. The man who's not worth it dismisses your feelings, does not care, is constantly blatantly doing the wrong thing. He's not showing that kind of effort. So when we go back to the example of when women say to me, well, I, you know, they feel like they loved him more. Even though I mentioned that, yes, that can happen even in situations where y'all love each other. I will say that in most situations, it was a, a, a relationship where that man was not truly in love with her. And from, from the beginning, she saw red flags. 
From the beginning, there was warning signs, but whether you want to say it was love or heightened desire, her heightened desire to have him for whatever the reasons are, maybe because she just wanted a relationship so bad. Maybe she feels like, okay, I'm getting to that age and I, I need marriage and some babies. Or may, maybe he makes a lot of money. Maybe my family likes him. There's so many reasons that can heighten the desire of a woman for a man. And it feels like love, but it really isn't. It's attachment, all right? And so the reason why I'm bringing this up is because when they, what I don't want to see women do is use situations where love wasn't really the driving factor there. And when things fall apart, say, well, I will not give my heart again. I, I cannot allow myself to even feel like I love this man more or I, I, I'm at this supreme level of love and vulnerability. No, you, you've got to understand. You've got to look deeper into the situation and realize that may not have been what you thought it was. And even for the sake of discussion, it actually was. You've got to heal from that. You've got to release those things. You have to let go. You have to be willing to put yourself out there. Because if your goal is to truly have success and be happy in a relationship, You've got to be willing to put your heart out there. And listen, there are women who marry men who they may love, but they still haven't put their heart completely out there. They're still operating with guardedness. They're still operating out of fear, and they don't realize they're undermining the potential of their marriage. They're undermining the potential of their relationship because they're operating in fear. And what happens to so many women, not all, but so many, is that when the woman has not healed and she's afraid to put herself out there, she will find all the reasons to run from the right man and all the reasons to run to the wrong one. The wrong one will feel like it's emotionally safe, but it's a setup for disaster. And it only feels safe because it doesn't make you feel that vulnerable. But again, you've got to embrace vulnerability at, at the fullest extent because that's where the magic happens. That's when it's really going to go to that next level. So I really, really want to encourage you, like, do not do this. It's not worth it. It's going to blow up in your face. If you see other people doing it, listen, people pay a price for these decisions. And it can get really messy when it turns into a marriage and it turns into extra kids and all this stuff. And I don't want that for you. And if you're already in that situation, I want to encourage you to take a step back. And when I say take a step back, I'm not saying immediately leave the relationship unless that's what you, in your spirit you're convicted to do. That's between you and God. But at least take a step back to evaluate what needs to be done. Maybe having an honest discussion about how you're feeling. Maybe it's possible in some situations to reach a mutual understanding because hell, if you haven't been happy for a long time, it's very possible he hasn't been happy for a long time. And it may be a time to where it's like, okay, maybe we need to go our separate ways because this was never built on a foundation of love. It was built on the foundation of fear. And I'm trying to help direct you into loving, fulfilling relationships. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. They can be vulnerable with you, all right? Or they're willing to be vulnerable with you. So the reality is that, again, when in the vast majority of situations, if not all, when a man is not emotional,